Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a butterfly mobile, not a mobile phone, a mobile that hangs. Very nice, very pretty. Miriam's going to help me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need some twigs. Um, so I have a few here, here's quite a big one, and a few others. We'll choose the best ones later on when we assemble our mobile. Um, but be careful when you're cutting your twigs because I got a little boo-boo when I cut my twigs and I had to put a plaster on it. Oh, so be careful. Anyway, not serious, don't worry. Um, so we're going to make some butterflies to hang on our mobile and this is what you're going to need. Twigs, scissors, felt tips. By the way, it's always a good idea to store your felt tips with the, um, the nib the end of the felt tip downwards because the ink then flows down towards it. A lot of people store them like that and that makes the ink fall the other way. You can see this with my lovely glitter glues which I have been storing like that. Now that's going to be very difficult to get the, the glitter down to the spout. Um, hopefully by the time I get to that bit it will have come down. Doesn't look very hopeful does it? Anyway, um, glitter glue if you've got any don't worry if you haven't and you're going to need also some string to attach the butterflies to the twigs now I've got this lovely uh, thin see-through what was this for originally I think it was for um, making jewelry um, so that will look nice because it will look like the butterflies are really floating in the air but if you don't have that you can just use any normal string you can also use some ribbon like this I have navy blue I have pink, and I'm just showing you that, I'm not actually going to use them, but don't feel that if you don't have this stuff you can't do it, of course you can. I've also got a few nice sparkly bits and pieces which I'm going to use to stick on to my butterflies, but you don't need those either. These are all just ideas, some beads as well, and I've got PVA glue upside down, because there isn't very much, and I'm trying to get it to all go down to the bottom, but again, crit stick would be okay as well. So we're going to start by making the butterflies. Should we make the butterflies? Now you can do this by yourself, um, or if you want, you can make it a whole family project where different people in the family make butterflies, which you then hang up, and then you have a whole lovely family butterfly mobile. Um, and for the butterflies, I'm going to use these. You know what these are? Lids for foil containers. I always find I have hundreds of these left, even long after the foil containers are finished. Um, and also, because it's a mobile and it's going to be hanging, remember that you're going to be seeing the back and the front of the butterfly, so you want something two-sided. So we're going to have one shiny side, and the other side we're going to decorate. Now if you don't have these, don't worry, you can just use a piece of paper and decorate it on both sides, or you can get a piece of card or paper and stick some tin foil on the back so that it will be shiny on one side and colourful on the other side. Um, or you can just get a packet or a um, box, you know, with pattern on one side and decorate the other side. You can stick uh, wrapping paper on one side, decorate the other side. So lots of things you could do, but the point is that you're going to be able to see both sides because the butterfly is going to be hanging in the air, fluttering around nicely. So you're going to be able to see both sides. But I'm going to use this so we have one shiny side and one side that we can decorate. That's nice, isn't it? Okay. So first we're going to make our butterflies. Um, we're going to use... Um, we're not going to make them too big because we don't want it to, it has to be able to, um, the twigs have to be able to take this, the weight of them. So I'm going to cut some squares. Okay. Actually, they don't, they don't need to be squares, they just need to be folded in half. And you want to fold them so that the durable side is on the outside. Okay, Miriam, shall we draw the shape of the butterflies now? Yeah. Okay. Be something like that, a sort of uneven heart shape. As long as you have two wings, then you should be fine, whatever you do, basically. So there we have four different butterfly shapes. Okay, now that we've got our four different butterfly shapes, we're going to cut them out. Now remember, you always remember you have to draw it so that the fold is in the middle. 
if you draw the butterfly on the wrong side, like this, there's your butterfly shape. Do you like the scissors? Thank you very much. And then I cut it out. I'm very happy until I realise Oh no! So you must draw it on the fold. Now we're going to cut them out. Very pretty. Okay, and there we have our... You could use that, that as a stencil afterwards actually. Not that one, obviously. Okay, so there four, and I'm going to make two more. So we have six butterflies and now we're going to start decorating them. Now, as you know, butterflies are symmetrical, the patterns on their wings. So whatever you do on each butterfly, make sure that you mirror it on either side and you can do any kind of pattern that you want. Often butterflies will have some kind of a spot or eye on either side, uh, but it's your butterfly so you can do whatever you want. So I'm going to start decorating my butterfly with some pen. finished colouring my first butterfly and now I'm going to add and Miriam's finished hers. Very nice. Now I'm going to add some sparkly bits and pieces. Okay so I've got my glue spreaders but you don't need to use glue spreaders you can just use plastic knife or a spoon um, or even a toothpick is quite good for when you're doing very delicate work. You only need a very small blob of glue. My students often pour out absurd amounts of glue. You only need a little bit because you're only sticking down little things. Miriam made such a pretty butterfly. So here are some of the butterflies we made so far. This one's already got some things stuck to it. This one hasn't yet. This one Miriam did, it's so pretty. And that one she did as well. And this one's waiting for some more decorations. We've got another one being made over here. Very nice. Some glitter glue going on there as well. So now I'm gonna show you how, how you can use glitter glue. Now, glitter glue can be very, very messy and you have to have a very steady hand as well to use it. So be careful. These are the finished decorated butterflies. We went a bit mad with all the sparkling glitter and sequins and so on. Um, but you can decorate your butterflies as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to you. You could even just have them plain colour on one side or even just plain white and shiny on the other side. It's up to you. So I did some here, my kids did some. We did it as a family thing, but if one person just wants to do it on their own, that's great. And now they all have to dry. Having said that, it is very, very nice to use sparkly things because when they catch the light, as you can see here when they were drying in the sunshine, um, it looks really nice. So if you can, then it's lovely. But again, it's up to you. The next part of the project is constructing the mobile. This is a diagram of the basic structure. So your longer twig will be the main one. And then you attach your strings using just with a knot and then you attach your butterflies on the end of these. Now, if you've got more butterflies and you want to add them, 
you can add another one here and you could add one there as well now remember if you've got a lot more over here it's going to tilt that way so you'll either need to move this closer or add another butterfly here to balance out the weight but you can just play around with it as you go and see what works and what you like you could even add another one over here very nice so that's the diagram of how to put your mobile together okay so all the butterflies dried and i've started assembling the mobile when you construct your mobile, start with this first one and then you add two coming down and then you can build and add more and try and balance it out. Here you can see how it's attached to the twine. There's just a piece of sellotape here with the twine in the middle down the crease of the butterfly. You just stick it with a clear piece of sellotape across the middle. Here I've made an example using ribbon. <coughs> Um, so I've just tied it on with a single knot because whilst you're positioning them and I suggest that you keep checking your mobile every time you add another butterfly or another twig to make sure that it keeps balanced. So here for example you can see that it's not balanced that way. If I want to make it balance better, make it more even, then I move this one a little bit closer. Now it's tilting a bit to the other way so let's move it back to the jot. Add a little bit. There, now it's hanging evenly and then once you're happy with the way that it's hanging you can cut off all these extra bits and then if you want to be really sure you can put some sellotape on as well okay so it's been secured with tape now so they won't be moving around anymore there you can see with ribbon looks quite nice obviously you could use different colors you can use string you could use embroidery thread knitting thread anything like that would be very nice so that's an example with ribbon going back to one with twine. Yeah. Every time you pick it up, it's a bit nerve wracking. See, it's all gone wonky again. So I need to sellotape mine as well to try and make sure that everything stays in the right place and it remains balanced. I mean, if you don't mind it being wonky, then keep it like that, but I do actually. Okay, so each time you pick it up, things might get knotted and tangled and I found that before one of them was tangled up a bit with the twig and actually it was barely balanced anyway. Um, this is troubling me a little bit, this wonky here, so if I can shuffle that along a bit. I actually found it easier with the twine to move it along, sorry, with the ribbon to move it along during the twine. But moving it closer to the middle makes it balance more. Okay, there we go. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is just cut off all these extra little bits from the knots where I tied them on. And then after that, I basically think we're done. And that should be 